Hello and welcome back to the Greek Pyramid. Today is day six of the 12 days of Christmas videos and today I thought we could take a look at the next book to be released by Rick Ryden, The Sun and the Star, a Nico D'Angelo adventure. So let's get straight into it. Just so we're all on the same page around this, this book takes place after Trials of Apollo has finished as towards the end of Tower of Nero, a new prophecy is made but Apollo moves out of earshot as he didn't wish to know any more. The only real information we have is from Rick's blog post which outlines a synopsis so let's just take a quick look at what that has to say first. Now Nico is being plagued by a voice calling out to him from Tartarus, the lowest part of the underworld. He thinks he knows who it is, a reformed titan named Bob whom Percy and Annabeth had to leave behind when they escaped Hades' realm. Nico's dreams and Rachel Dare's latest prophecy leave little doubt in Nico's mind that Bob is in some kind of trouble. Nico has to go on this quest whether Mr. D and Chiron like it or not and of course Will insists on coming with. So this gives us a general idea of what's going to happen. Will and Nico are going to travel down to Tartarus to help this voice that Nico is hearing assuming it is Bob. It's got to be Bob right? Or is it something darker going on here? Is Bob in trouble? And it is instead Tartarus that is going to use this opportunity as a trap. Or it could be some other creature within Tartarus that is trying to lure him down there. Because in my mind, if it was Tartarus, why would he be trying to take revenge on Nico and not Percy and Annabeth, for example, as they're the ones who actually escaped him? Whilst with Bob, it would make sense for Bob to call on Nico, considering Nico's always been friendly to him and has always tried to help him out. Although, here's a thought for you. If Tartarus regenerates monsters and Bob decided to be Bob rather than Iapetus, does this still make him a monster? And therefore, let's say he's been reborn. We don't exactly know what the fate of Bob was, but let's say he's been reborn. Would he still be Bob or would he have reverted to Iapetus? I mean, I can't really see a world in which they would truly make Bob Iapetus again, as that would kind of undo a lot of his troubles coming to terms with himself and who he wishes to be in the House of Hades. Further on down the blog post, we have, but can a being made of light survive in the darkest part of the world? And what does the prophecy mean that Nico will have to leave something of equal value behind? This is the truly most worrying part of this post really, isn't it? Leaving of some, something of equal value behind. I mean, we've all got to be looking nervously over our shoulders at will at this point. Is there's not a huge amount down in Tartarus that Nico would necessarily care about. And the only thing he's brought from the outside world as far as we're aware is Will. But surely he's not going to go leaving Will in Tartarus. He's too important to him, right? No matter what it is, it doesn't sound good. And points towards there being an awful choice that Nico is going to have to make at some point. Let's just hope Will and Nico manage to make it out unscathed. The last part has to say, Nico will have to face demons both internal and external, as his relationship with Will is tested to the core in this standalone adventure featuring two of the most popular characters in the Percy Jackson saga. We all saw how difficult it was for Annabeth and Percy in, the, in Tartarus in the House of Hades. They ended up having big support from both Bob and Damison. They would literally not have survived without the help of this of a giant and a titan. So realistically, as soon as Will and Nico get in there, it's going to be a huge struggle. Surely they're going to need some big help along the way. But I'm not too sure where this help could come from. It kind of feels like Annabeth and Percy kind of exhausted the most logical options available. So now we're all caught up on what we kind of vaguely know is going to happen, what am I hoping to see from this book? Considering it's called a Nico D'Angelo adventure, that would point me to thinking it's a Nico first person, just his point of view. So I would kind of like to see some flashback moments throughout the past in Nico's point of view. The most obvious being his first time adventuring into Tartarus, which seems to have affected him quite a bit. So I think showing us that or maybe just explaining to Will basically why Will shouldn't come. I think that would be interesting to see and help us address some of the things that Nico has been through. However, from a brighter point of view, some flashbacks through Will and Nico's relationship, particularly if Tartarus is going to test that relationship, basically I'm just looking for more Will and Nico content in the past. Which brings me on to my second but pretty obvious point. I just want some great Will and Nico moments, you know, as I'm sure is pretty standard across much of the Percy Jackson fandom. Thirdly, I kind of want both of their dads to appear in some way. Not sure this is strictly necessary, but if we first take a look at Nico, 
I'm always a big fan in recent memory of a bit of interaction between Hades and his son. So I'd quite like him to make an appearance, either to warn Nico that he's not going to be able to help him in Tartarus, or happy to see him safe afterwards. Provided he is obviously safe afterwards. Also with Will, it kind of makes sense. We've seen a lot more of Apollo, obviously, in the Trials of Apollo series, and seen him and Will get on a lot. So we could almost complete that arc of Will and Apollo's relationship at the end of this book, once he is hopefully safe and sound. I think there is enough space to fit all of this content in. Becky Ryden has confirmed that it is going to be 480 pages long, which is longer than I was expecting, but I'm excited for it. And I'm just in general excited for having more of Nico's perspective post Heroes of Olympus. But I suppose at the end of the day, we will just have to wait until May 2nd, 2023 to see how Will and Nico's trip will turn out. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Let me know what your predictions or hopes are for this book and I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.